I have to do that. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. You always grab it on the wrong side. <laughs> grab it with my main hand. <laughs> Start the show. Okay, everybody. Hello. And, whoop, <laughs> Jesus. Almost broke some shot glasses right at the beginning of this here. Welcome to another episode of Aaron Clinton's Movie Reviews. Today, we're reviewing the great, wonderful movie, Kingsman. Not violent at all. No. <laughs> totally kid the ch- friendly. The church scene when they're in the church. Oh, oh my. my gosh. That was if a you haven't, By scene. the way, every week we say this. We'll say it again every week. Spoiler alerts. Okay, if you haven't seen it and you're worried about spoiler alerts, then I don't know why you're watching this. <laughs> um, if you don't care about spoiler alerts, then that makes sense. If you have seen it and you just want to see what we're going to say, then that makes sense. But if you're worried about spoiler alerts, you might not want to watch it. But the scene in the church where he goes off in the... Part of the thing of this movie is the cell phones activate something in you crazy. In your crazy. In your crazy. <laughs> Something in your crazy. So the cell phones <laughs> activate the crazy, crazy part. <laughs> Unlike nowadays where we're not going crazy with cell phones at all and we're totally peaceful and yeah. we're not addicted to them at all and all that good stuff. Exactly. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it's a, it, it was a good movie. I still liked it. liked it a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I love the action scenes. I think, well, I mean, that, that scene you're just mentioning, uh, I was just reading that that is actually the number one favorite scene why people oh. actually watch it. Uh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> because it's very violent. And they said they shot it in one uh, scene, one whole yeah. thing. Yeah, I remember the way the camera was kind of moving around. They're following around. him Yeah, it throughout. felt like it was one yeah, scene. So it, yeah, so that's that was the big deal is that it was all done in one scene. And um, Colin Firth, Firth? Firth, I think. Yeah. yeah. The guy who plays him, uh, the, the main guy, um, he... The main Kingsman. Yeah, he did 80% of his own stunts, and in that wow. scene, he did all of it. Wow, yeah. that's impressive. Yeah, he's an older dude. Yeah, so. that's really impressive, because I know, I cannot remember the video right now, but there's a music video of this guy, he's the singer of the band, and he starts walking through his house like they're having a house party, and you can tell the whole video is done in one shot. He's going through the house, <laughs> and they go down do. the stairs. I was, I was thinking, you know, all the people are partying, doing different things. Yeah. If one per, I'm sorry, there's like a bird making a lot of noise out there, so I keep <laughs> looking over there. Um, plus I'm, par- I'm plus I'm naturally paranoid, so I'm just like the whole video. I'm like, I'm just like <laughs> it just keeps like flashing across. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I was thinking if one person messes up or trips or looks at the camera or something you like that, like stop, again. we gotta do the whole thing yeah. over again. I mean, I guess you gotta wonder how many takes you could that slice would take. it back in, but then that's not, the point is you don't want to do that. You want to do it in one point. shot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, I think that's, that's crazy. That's why it, I'm I'm curious. Um, obviously, it didn't say when I was reading it, but it didn't say how many takes it took for them to do the whole yeah. thing like that. But I mean, there's so many parts to that scene all these yeah. side fights and because i mean the video i was talking about it was like going through a house party or whatever so you know if you're kind of dancing it's not that hard yeah, yeah. but this thing really where there's script. choreographed it's fighting yeah, yeah that's to get that all right is and amazing people landing in the exact same the, the right spot to land where they yeah. get hit or punched or whatever i yeah. mean that that just blew my mind that that was one that is one pretty long crazy thing I do like Colin Firth though. He's a good actor. Yes. He's got that very He's been in so secret many society look, you know, which is this is yeah. me somewhat trying to represent him earlier a little bit, but <laughs> <laughs> but he's got yeah, you know, any movie with secret societies I'm into, I love all that kind of stuff, you mm-hmm. know. Um, mm-hmm. but uh, this one was really cool, action packed, you know, a uh, little mysterious. Um, was uh, was good. It was good. Yeah. And it, so it took- I mean, we want, we might want to talk about the beginning part of like it was uh, released in September 2017. Mm-hmm. Uh, the director was Matthew Vaughn. That's not right. It is. September of 2017? Yes. It seems like we watched it way longer than that no. ago. Really? No. No. I did, well, I did why are you stopping the show? Research. Why are you questioning me on this and stopping the show, you idiot? <laughs> I did the you research. you do your research, okay? <laughs> it just feels like it was a lot longer ago no, that we watched it. Because they came out with the second one last year. So it was like one year. Well, last year was 2017. No, last year was 2000. I mean. Are you sure you didn't look up Kingsman 2? Yep. You, I did. bet you you did <laughs> because so I mean, say September 2017 because it was there. It was like at least two years ago. Yeah. Right? Or, Sorry yeah. about this. We're uh, doing this on the fly here. We could edit this I all out. I did my but research, but I, I forgot usually, to do it on this one. We usually don't edit things out because hey, this is the way it I goes. Do have a life. But um, and then who was the uh? There was a the young kid that was the main actor in it too. I don't yeah, remember. Um, oh, what was his name? He actually was 
fourth Bill. Um, Taron Egert? Yeah, he's. this was his first movie, or oh. not his first big movie. So yeah. this, what, this is what kind of Because it's kind of like a, uh, it, it's a, like a, a British movie, you know, a lot of British actors and stuff like that. Samuel L. Jackson was in it, who is obviously mm-hmm. not British. But, um, <laughs> but he's in everything. But so. he's in everything, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but he, he, he plays a character that kind of like the, the bad guy or whatever, the main mm-hmm. bad guy, the main villain. He always villain. plays a good bad guy. He does, he does. He, he plays a good good guy, too, because he played in... Um, the Avengers as uh, Nick Fury. Oh, that's and right. He's yeah. a good guy. Yeah. So I mean, he could, he plays everything. He could do. Yeah, he definitely does. Pulp Fiction. He, 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 oh, well, that was sort on. of. That was a bad, bad, a bad and good guy sort of. You know, <laughs> at more, the end he was a good guy. Yeah, but more bad guy. Mostly yeah. bad guy. And in this one in uh, Kingsman, he has a, a lisp, a lith throughout the whole movie. Mm-hmm. So he's always talking like this, and it just it's kind of. Funny, well, like they, he's this crazy, dangerous guy. But he's like, oh, seriously, you know? It's just like, that's what made like, it so funny, though. Yeah. Is that he was a bad guy, but he was like kind of crazy and with his little lisp, and he was made fun of as a kid. You know how anyone with a lisp is really crazy? So it made sense, you know. <laughs> that is not what I'm you saying. You ever met someone with a, a lisp? They're just like, they're so evil, aren't they? <laughs> that is not I'm what kidding, I'm of course. Out. So anyways, yeah, I think we'll have to double check that. Maybe I'll put yeah. something in the video when I edit it later. I, yeah, September 17th, I believe that's when the second Kingsman came out. Yeah. Um, because uh, that just seems too soon for that one. <laughs> and I believe we also forgot to do fun facts on this one. 2014. 2014 was the first one. That I was gonna say, it was, no, it was a long time ago. We watched it, and plus, didn't we watch it? Uh, did we watch it here? No, obviously no. we're here. We watched it back in California. Yeah. yeah, we live in Alabama now. We moved here from California, but born and raised in California, I was at least. And she's from Florida. I'm not from Florida. That's oh, right. She was born Actually, in Berlin. Yes, but yes. Germany. Thank Germany, you. Germany. That's right. But technically, grew up in Florida. Um, no, I was only there for four years. I technically grew up in California. The most important part of your life, though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, She's like, what was it? I grew Why up mostly in California. It was more like 11 to 15 years in California versus the four in Florida. So anyways, what's the main plot of this story? It's basically, you know, the Colin Firth character trying to find a new recruit for the Kingsmen. Yeah. Well, which is yeah. like a secret society of like, uh, well, it's not almost a like MI6 guys, you know? I guess um, Gary Eggsy is, this, is his nickname, mm-hmm. the, the kid. His father was in the secret Service. Oh, that's right. So that's why they seek him out because they believe that he probably has the same set of skills. Which they actually don't call it the Secret Service over there. I think no. they call him MI6, I think, is what I, the British call it. It's right. like their Secret Service, basically. Yeah, but the, the title of the movie is actually um, Kingsman the Secret Service. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Cause, probably because they wanted it to be able to do better in America, so they <laughs> <laughs> they did that. Yeah, probably. Although, you know, who knows how many Secret Service type agencies there are in, in all these countries that we don't know much about. You know, I'm sure there's oh, more than just what we do know about, obviously. Yeah, that's the reason why they're secret. It's <laughs> like we just found out they're listening to us all the time on these devices, and I'm sure that just started happening, right? They haven't been doing that forever. Sorry. Sorry, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, NSA and CIA. We're just joking. We love you guys. Sorry. <laughs> just doing our little video. <laughs> we're just doing our little video here at Code 3, 72, Code 3, Mary Head of the Lamb. And we're just not sitting any signals or anything. We're just... <laughs> Yeah, okay, so what's anyway. some of the other movies that uh, Colin Firth has been in? Well, um, probably most mostly known like The English Patient, Bridget Jones's Diary. Oh, a big favorite of mine. <laughs> never seen um, it. The King's Speech. That was a big one. He won, oh, you like that movie, award. didn't you? I have never you, seen oh, it. Oh, I thought that was one of the ones you had on DVD. No, no, that's actually, he had a lisp in that one. He had a speech impediment. That was the whole point. The, speech, oh. the King's um, Speech, he had a, an impediment. So he was nervous speaking in public. It's a, it's based on a real person, I hmm. guess. But I've never seen it. And um, what's the one? Circle jerk? Oh, circle of friends. Sorry, that's. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, that's far away. I couldn't wow, read it quite you, well. You went there. You did that. That was all you. But I'm bum. Uh, that doesn't even deserve. That's not even the type of joke <laughs> that would deserve that really. But I'm bum. This is an insult. Gosh, I'm so uncomfortable with this I know. thing. It's like I keep. Seriously. Joking I right keep now. moving around like this. It's like this is our whole review of the movies. Let's just talk about sidecraft. We're like the movie's gonna be like two minutes, and the rest is gonna be us <laughs> just talking about being paranoid about birds. The <laughs> taking society taking five to minutes us. to realize we had the wrong date on the movie. <laughs> it's like hold on, we're searching for like five minutes through the research while this is live. I'm like this the whole time you're doing research. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. If you're watching this for great accurate uh, movie reviews, you might not always get that. You're gonna get yeah. a lot of uh, we don't cut much, so a lot you, of fl- you, fluffiness you here. Definitely see all all there is to see. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, and then, okay, of course, Samuel L. Jackson, everyone knows him with some, some of the great films that he's been but in. But one thing you might not have known, he played in The Exorcist 3. I didn't know that. I've never I seen it. I haven't seen it either. I haven't seen hmm. it either. But one of The Exorcists he played in that, I mean, he had to have been like 
in his teens. Was he like, devil, get out of here. Get out of here, <laughs> devil. <laughs> what if just from now on he decided to have a lisp in every movie? Or like, do you notice like ever since Kingsman he's had a lisp? Like, that would be so movie. weird. Like, like, maybe well, he really does have that's one. That's a weird actor's choice. <laughs> <laughs> but he also played in Goodfellas. What? Yes. Oh. In 1990. Why oh. does that seem right? <laughs> uh. Uh. Why does that seem right? Like I can, I have no idea. I can't but picture him in there, like but it does seem times like. And I don't remember him in it. He must have played a really. Small oh, part. it was. I do remember. It was a small part. Yeah, yeah. He played that. Oh God, uh, Riggs or something like that. That was wait. That was from *Lethal Weapon*. But, uh, <laughs> but he played something like it was like a, a janitor, small time guy. Remember? Oh, and he was. Maybe I remember, this was when he was. They went and shot him in his in his little room or his house, whatever, because they were too afraid he was gonna give him up or something, which he didn't do or something. I, I remember uh, the little scene. He had well, a little scene in know, it. Yeah. I'm like, wow, that yeah, surprised me. I do remember it. it was, it was or a janitor or a, or a something like a small role but yeah but I mean he's played in things like um, Jungle Fever which is was a big one in the 90s Fever, Pulp Fiction like we said Fever. A Time to Kill which is one of my that's favorite a great movie. movies that's Ooh, a good movie love that movie yeah. Star Wars obviously oh yeah duh. Star Wars yeah. it's one of the Jedi's uh, <laughs> Iron Man we know that and yeah. of course Avengers um, Age, Age of Ultron, Ultron. You have to say it like that, Age of Ultron. And of course, he's played in so many more. I mean, I, I literally had to dumb it down. Yeah, with oh, of course. He's, he's been in so many movies. He's been in so many. Pulp Fiction probably being my favorite. That's one of my. Yeah. I really like that movie. A Time to Kill movie. would be my favorite. And Jurassic Park. I mean, I love Jurassic Park. I can't get into that one that much for some reason. I don't know. Something about dinosaur movies. It's hard for me to just. Okay, I'm a huge dinosaurs. fan of dinosaur yeah. movies. <laughs> Then uh, the other dude uh, played Merlin, uh, Mark, Str- Mark Strong. Yeah, Mark that guy. He's the type of guy that I think you see in a lot of movies. You don't know him by name, no. you know, but he, he plays. He a lot plays of in a lot of parts. stuff, and he's, I mean, he's he good in everything he plays. Scene. Yeah, yeah. You got I mean, some of the other movies he's been in there. Yeah, um, Fever Pitch. I'm not sure of that one. I just uh, that's Tristan about a, a baseball player who gets fever every time he goes out and pitches. Right? I think. Yeah. It's about 101 temperature, and he was able sure. to. Okay, I'll stop now. Okay. Um, no, but he played in uh, Tristan and is is old. That's a love. Movie. I remember hearing that. Yeah, yeah, uh, Kick Ass. We know that one mm. with the kids. Everyone then, seems um, to like that movie. I didn't think it was that good. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate on that, but I didn't mm-hmm. think it was that good. Anyways. Uh, um, and Green Lantern. And Green Lantern, I did think was really good. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of people didn't think it was good. So here, here you go. My reviews suck. Right? <laughs> was my opinion is horrible. In Stockholm is his new, in the newest movie that's about to come out. I mm. just put it down there because it's coming out. So if you want to see Mark Strong in his latest movie, it's called Stockholm. And then part two will be Syndrome. <laughs> okay, so the next one is... Taron Eggert. Taron Eggert. Eggsy. Who's the new guy? Gary Eggsy. Exit Unwin. Unwin. He played in Hereafter, which I vaguely remember that oh, movie Oh, yeah. Was that with... Um... <laughs> Well, I can see the guys, hey, Greg something, Greg Kinner, Greg Kin, Greg, oh, uh, Kilborn, Kil- no. Kilborn. The guy he used to do, uh, he always gets made fun of, but then he's done a lot of, oh, man, I can see I his name. Know. It's this dude right here. That guy. <laughs> I'll edit but him later. Anyway, he played in Legend, which was a big movie in mm. 2015, and uh, Sing. <laughs> Elias, oh, well, my, our son loves. loves that movie. He plays the, the gorilla. He actually sings. That's him? Yeah. As the gorilla? Yeah. The, I'm still standing on the yeah, scene. What? Yeah, yeah. He's got like a deep voice in that one kind of, doesn't he? No. Not really. No, not really? Not really. Okay. No, wow. But that's, but that's surprising. He's really good there, yeah. He's got a really good voice if well, that's his singing. Yeah. It probably is, but nowadays they can do so much with with all the um, auto-tune all the stuff oh. and they can make anyone sound but good still, nowadays. I but mean, it was, he was good. And then his latest movie coming out this year is Robin Hood. They're doing another yeah, Robin another Hood? Robin oh, Hood. no. Of course I have to see I it. No, you're going to see that. That's her favorite. Not Obviously not the one coming out. Yeah, the one she's never seen is the her one favorite. I've never movie. Seen I'm like, God, so out. stupid. <laughs> stupid. I start slapping myself really hard. Dumb. Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, but the original, uh, I almost said the original Batman. The original Robin Hood <laughs> Because Batman and Robin, okay, I guess yeah, Robin I made that Prince mistake. Prince of Thieves, Prince of Thieves is with my all-time Kevin favorite Costner. movie. Yes. Yeah. My all-time number one favorite. Next movie. to Under Tuscan Sun. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but uh, it is my 100% all-time favorite movie, and it always will be, no matter what. No matter other movies come out. No other movie is ever going to take it, it over. It will never top it because it it introduced me to movies. It was the first movie I ever watched, which I absolutely loved about it, and it had amazing actors. Even though like Kevin Costner is a little bit arrogant and. He knows he's good, <laughs> and I think he shows I think every a, movie he plays. He's an amazing he actor, is. but he knows it. 
Yeah, and hey, I, uh, it's fine. That's but. all right. It's like Tom Cruise. He's you know he's arrogant and whatever, oh. but he's an amazing actor too. I'm not saying he's as arrogant as Tom Cruise. I'm no. just saying it's but it's he's it's a similar thing where they both kind of have an arrogance to them, you know. And they're but they're the both don't stink, yeah, but they're both just really they're excellent good, actors. Good, yeah. Everything Kevin Costner but it's does like, is good. It's like you think like of a Tom Hanks who is an amazing actor, but he doesn't show it. He doesn't have that movies. arrogance yes, at all. Yeah, he has yeah. that like natural like. That's probably, probably one That's of my... That's what it's like, the difference between, yeah. like, a Tom Cruise and a Tom Like, Hanks a Denzel or, Washington and Tom Hanks are, like, yeah. uh, my, probably my two favorite actors, and they're just, they seem, I, mean, I don't know them personally, obviously. Yeah. I, I know them personally. I talk to them all the time. The uh, but they seem like like genuinely good, yeah, like genuine people. Yeah, people you'd like to, like, hang out with yeah. and have a beer yeah. with or something. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah. So the last guy um, that just... Of course. There's I'm, other people in this movie, the last guy, the guy. Great actor who I absolutely love and is good in everything, too. Yes. Michael Caine. Come yes. on now, Chester, King Arthur, Michael Caine is obviously good. Although he does do a lot of the similar roles, he does play a kind of a lot that of the kind same of character guy. in a lot of his movies. Yes. But it's but he's, he's, he's but so it's believable good. every time yeah. you believe it, what he's doing. He's just got that British you know accent. He's been and just, acting forever though. Um, I didn't put it on here, but I mean his acting thing went back to the 1970s, 1960s. Yeah. I mean he's been acting for a long time. I just, I just pulled out the movies that we would know. Um, <laughs> Austin Powers. Uh, in Gold in Member. Gold yeah. member. <laughs> in Gold Member. In Gold Member. <laughs> he was in the Gold Member. <laughs> Batman Begins. It was Begins. a porno. Sorry. Batman, Batman Begins. Begins. Oh, yeah. That one. And then you, The Children of Children Men. Children of Men. I love yeah, that one movie. one of your faves. That's um, funny. When we were just talking about him playing similar roles, I was, that, that's the movie I was just picturing in my head. Oh, yeah. That kind of with the beard, he kind of plays that guy. In the, I mean, I guess it's not a role he's done a lot, but it just... Yeah. Whatever, but I, that was a, for some reason that was a role of fiction. Inception, <laughs> Inception, yeah. Now You See Me, the pretty recent. Dunkirk, which my dad is just like, he's so like, I really can't good. believe you haven't seen this yet. Oh, I've like, heard it was really good too. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, he's upset with me that I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> and then, he's like, I'm not going to ever talk. I'm not, you do not call me back. You do not talk to me until you've seen this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, his movie this year, which is already actually out, is Sherlock Gnomes, which mm. is that cartoon. Oh, Gnomes. You pronounced it wrong. It's Gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's something. Oh, that the G we, is silent. You're such a dork. <laughs> it's something that um, that we would obviously have Elias go see. Yeah. That's not. It's a cartoon. I think he's getting old enough now. We could probably take him to the movies. Oh, I think so. Yeah. He can sit through a movie. I think, I think if he'd it's, sit if through it's a yeah. good scenario. If it was dark and we spanked him every couple of minutes. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> Put tape around his mouth. Put tape around his mouth and handcuffed him to the seats and weren't threatened him with spanking. I'm sure he'd sit through it. No, yeah. no honestly, I, I think he's. Uh, I think he is. He's almost four. I think he. he could yeah, I think he'd sit through it now. Maybe now. And we if, haven't done that. If not, we'll break his tablet. <laughs> I know, seriously. He can sit an hour or two on his tablet, but he can't sit through a two-hour movie. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's mind-blowing to me. Well, so since we didn't do any fun facts, so we just jumped to rating the movie? Yeah, might as well. Because yeah. honestly, I read a couple of the fun facts, and they're really not that fun. They're not that fun? No. We got kind of bored. You I felt, did. You felt I, lonely. I kept, <laughs> kept just scrolling, like, find something fun, but nothing was fun. All right, well, so... Um, what should we get? We rate it out of five. We always do rate out of five. Um, five guns. Five guns, because it's a Kingsman. Yeah, five Kingsman guns. So out of five Kingsman's guns, I Kingsman's would give guns. this. King, that's a hard one to say, Kingsman's huh? Kingsman's guns. guns. Kingsman's. Kingsman guns. If you said Kingsman gun, it would. King, Kingsman guns. Oh, oh yeah. So out of five Kingsman guns. <laughs> I'd say it slowly, so people understand you. Sounds like a you. bad beginning of a bad recipe. Okay, two thirds Kingsman's guns. No. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, that did make sense. No. Um, so out of five Kings Men guns, I would give it. Mm, I'm go- definitely not a five. I'm struggling between three and four. Mm. Hmm. Because it was really good. I almost want to say four because I really liked it a lot. But then again, it wasn't anything like it hasn't been done before, really. You know, I guess mm. attacking people through the cell phones. But you know, that's like a normal fear people have. That's like a but, Stephen King book. Yeah, basically. kind of. Which so I'm, I'm gonna go three and a half. I don't usually do a half. Oh. Is that all right? Of course. I, mean, I did a four and a half. When last this time. turns off, you're not going to like be upset with me and just walk away. Well, I mean, what comes off the camera? That will probably happen either way. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm always disappointed. In you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm going to go three and a half because it, three seems like it's not quite enough credit for how good it was. Four seems like it's too much. So I'm going to go three and a half. What do you think? I'm going with a three. Okay. Yeah, I mean. This is more your style of movie, like yeah. you said. It's more of like a secret society, almost a secret service thing. That's more your your kind of wavelength. To, to talk more on that little point, it's like it is, but the reason why it's going more towards three, three and a half for me is because it's a little more Hollywoody type. We're like, mm-hmm. um, um, oh, what's the other one that has a secret side the, with Matt Damon and it? it's like three hours long? Angelina Jolie, I love that movie. Um, Wanted? No. No, 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 no. The, the secret. I'm sorry. The good, the Good Shepherd. 
Oh yeah. The Good Shepherd, which she doesn't care about. I loved that movie. That, but that was that was more long. because it was more like realistic to how things are, and, and long. it was and long. It was very long, but it wasn't like this one was way more Hollywood. You know what I mean? Way yeah. magical. It was more entertaining. Shooting it, and stuff like it that. Brought but, in a younger audience. Yeah, it, this was more too. mass appealing. But the the Good Shepherd one was way more. It was boring. deep. It was not boring. It, it was, was deep. Well, if you're into the kind of stuff I'm into in conspiracy theories, and you're into all this stuff, you can see it, when you're watching. You see a lot of things that connect you to things you read about, or this thing like, oh, that's what. They mean by this or that, so it connects things in your and head. I'm much more of a Hollywood love to watch movies and yeah. be She's just more just the entertainment aspect. I, I yeah, I like a little bit of leaving there wondering what's going on with this well, whole you're damn big, world. Like, you're no. big on like documentaries and stuff like yeah. that too, where I I could sit through five minutes and be like, all right. Actually, when just watched the dragon come not in? a documentary, but I just watched a movie on Netflix. This has nothing to do with anything, but here this movie <laughs> called I think it was called Titan or Titans. Titans. And it just came out. Netflix it just did it. Titans? No, no, yeah. I just watched this movie. Is I think it was called Titans. It had Denzel watching. Oh, remember the Titan? No, no, that's not it. It that's was about it. football. Uh, <laughs> any given Titan? No, 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 no way. It's always sunny and Sunday. No. Um, uh, but the Titan movie was really good. We might review that one. I'll have you watch it about a guy. Uh, they're they're they the world's going to crap. Apocalypse type things. All this kind of stuff going on. You know, so they need to leave the Earth and they're going to go to try to live on um, Titan, the moon of Saturn. Ooh. One of the I don't know if it was one of the moons or this the is, only moon. This is a movie you liked. Yeah, it just came out recently for Netflix, and uh, it, it's a Netflix original. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and it has the the I girl from like uh, Orange surprising. Is the New Black. I don't know what her real name is, but the main the, pen, bl- the pe- bl- uh, Penny or Penelope. Peppy, Pippi, whatever her name is. Yeah. Peppa. <laughs> Peppa, <laughs> Peppa the Frog is that her Peppa name? Why would they call her that? Um, but yeah, she's like the main girl and the main guy. But anyways, the whole point is they're trying to change his DNA and like these certain people's DNA so they can be able to adapt to the moon on oh. Titan. And just as they start changing it, weird things start happening. And I don't want to give it away until you okay. watch it or anything. You're but right, that has yeah. nothing to do with this review. It really doesn't. So <laughs> why did I bring it up? I have no idea. I have no idea either. All right, sorry guys. So anyways, to so wrap you up. you may see that in the next couple episodes. The point is, yeah, is you will eventually see us reviewing that movie. So get out there and watch it so we don't spoil it for you, okay? It's yeah. on Netflix, Titan, either Titan or Titans or something like that. Um, it's definitely not Remember the Titans. <laughs> I can't remember what it's exactly so called. If Denzel right. Washington if, is in it, if Denzel Washington is in it, or you see a football in it, that's the wrong it's movie. The wrong it's one. not. It's, it's like he's, imagine watching that happen. Like, when are they going to go to the? When does this whole apocalypse thing start? Like, this <laughs> this seems nothing like. This, yeah, this DNA has not changed at all. It just seems like a really <laughs> dramatic and dedicated football coach. I'm not seeing what's going on here. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, um, yeah, if you start watching that, you're watching the wrong movie. <laughs> It's like, wait a minute, I don't even have Netflix. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, all right, so that was 22 minutes of... Wow. Uh, that was probably our most we non... We supposed to be speaking 15 minutes. Supposed to cut it down to 15 minutes. Well, that was about 20 minutes of nonsense and about two minutes of actual review, <laughs> so sorry. So this movie was Kingsman. This movie was... Yeah. So this movie was uh, all along the watch... No, I mean Kingsman. <laughs> it's like, just totally don't remember what it was. To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a, <laughs> to kill a Kingsman Bird. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, no. So uh, three and a half. So basically, we both. I'd recommend seeing it if you haven't seen it. It's, a big, um, it's, it's an average. For, it's an average movie, but it's worth. It's though. worth watching. You know, I, I wouldn't. Uh, I'd try to find it on Netflix or watch it for free or something. Oh um, yeah, and and there's a sequel already. So there is a second one. Which we have not seen. No. Yeah. So I we'll, think it's on DVD now. It probably if it, that because that was probably the September 2017 is the one you were talking about. So I'm yes, sure it's, sure it's plenty on DVD. DVD. Yeah, so might even we be might review on, that one. Might even be on Netflix by now. Who knows? But um. This one's not even on Netflix yet. Uh, things move so quick now. Um, <laughs> life just goes by so quickly, you guys. Um, we're so old. You're so old. <laughs> get off my lawn. Um, <laughs> it's like as you get older, you start saying that as you're driving down the street. Get off my lawn. Wait, I'm not even. Okay. I make a lot of dumb jokes. As you, yeah. you if you lasted this far in the video, then you're you're apparently you should be okay. With you're that. apparently okay with my yeah. stupid jokes. So maybe you think he's funny. Maybe. I don't even. That, that was, was not even. A that thing. was an old. That's how old men think they're sexy. <laughs> Either that or I'm trying to advertise my glasses, which, by the way, are really are <laughs> are real, as you can see. Here. <laughs> he needs glasses. I'm like, dang, I need to get my glasses on. You're here wearing. I'm like, oh no, these don't have any. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> like, why are you wearing this? I want to go out in public with these on. If you were like guys at the grocery store, just keep looking at me. He's like, your glasses are extremely clean, or you have no lenses in them. I'm like, you're no, crazy person. there's nothing. I just like the way these make me look. He's like, okay. And Anyways, it's a cinema 3D on the <laughs> side. Oh, does it? So. <laughs> The 3D glasses. Hey, what are those, some Ray-Bans? Nah, these are Cinema 3 fun, it's full. Fun. 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 I was going to say sun. I was going to say sun, and then I changed it to full, so it came out fun. These are Cinema 3's fun. I mean full, I mean sun, full, it's fun. Ooh. Darn it. Oh, things are All happening. All right, do we need another shot? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, I think that we dragged out another three minutes of nonsense on this one. 
<laughs> okay. I, oh, man. I don't even think we need to do movie reviews. We can just sit here and just talk about anything. We've got to have some subject to base around somehow, right? <laughs> All right, you guys. So thanks for joining us again. Um, join us next week. What are we? What, what review are we doing next week? <laughs> you're, you're all, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like your um, mouth wanted to say. Get get out. Get out. Ooh, that's a good one. That's new a good one. one. New, new one. one yeah. Guys. Yeah, that's yes, a good one. I did that again. Finally, we're finally re- reviewing a movie that wasn't made, was made seven years ago. So <laughs> this wasn't that old. Well, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> yeah, 2014. Well, it four, feels four like years. time is yeah. just flying by. All right, you guys. Well, we appreciate it. Subscribe, like, share, all the normal stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to point that way. Um, We will see you next week. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.